What's going on guys? It's Ninja back at it again with another video. This time I'm playing a 3 on 3 freestyle You're once ready. again. Uh, it's an open beta that started on December 6th. You can find it in the PlayStation Store if you uh, live in North America. According to their website, that's what they say. Um, as you can tell by the video, this is my review. I'll have a link to my live stream below if you'd like to watch me play more footage of it. I got about two and a half hours of footage of it. So you can truly check out it and see if it's really worth it for your opinion. If you need more gameplay to decide. Um, it's a pretty fun game, guys. It obviously will not compete in rival with 2K. It won't even have a shot if that's what you're looking for. A game that will rival 2K or NBA Live for that fact. It won't even, won't even match up against NBA Live and give them a fair chance. Not even close. But yeah, it's just a real fun, goofy game. Uh, it's just about two and a half gigabytes to download right now. So go ahead and just um, download it. It's in the PlayStation Store if you have the opportunity to. It's really fun. Um, there's obviously some flaws to it as it is a beta. Um, animation is kind of below par. They need to fix some of that stuff, like the rebounding. Um, the steel system kind of sucks. The sprint's awful. Everyone sprints at the same speed. I don't really like that at all. As a guard, I should be able to run faster than big men, but as a big man, I can run as fast as guards. So, throw up perspective in that situation. But overall, it should be fixed. There should be advantages and disadvantages to all the players. They're all pretty much the same thing. Except for Lulu. Lulu and Big Dog are insane. Big Dog can catch boards at any moment. Big Dog can finish down low like it's nobody's business. Lulu's got a pretty mean mid uh, mid range. You just got to keep shooting and hope for the best as the shooting in this game is pretty awful. You just got to keep shooting and hope that you make them. But she's got a pretty good chance to compare some other players. Her down, her um, her game in the post is all right as well. I personally don't post up with it. What I do is uh, I bring the ball outside the paint, just right outside it, hit circle, which is the drive button, which makes your person do a move, which finds you a little bit of separation, and some free space to go into the hoop. So there's little tips and tricks for you. If you're starting out, play with Lulu. Highly recommend it. But back on the review, what I do like is. That red bar right there that like prevents me from going inside towards the paint. I like that from an offensive standpoint because it gives us a chance to set something up. I like that from a defensive standpoint because there's not a chance they can catch us off guard right away. In addition to that, um, I believe they should shorten the shot clock. 24 seconds is a long time for half court basketball. Half court 3 on 3 basketball. It should be probably about like 12 to 15 seconds I'd say. That's enough time to get a shot off, get a rebound, get another fresh um, shot clock, etc. Which you obviously should be able to score in one shot. Most of the scoring in this game are layups and dunks, anyways. Um, I do like the weather idea that they have here with the snow. You know, it's December, it's winter, depending on where you live. It's Christmas time. Just trademarks that most people in North America truly live with. I think that's where they're trying to market their game at, is just simply in North America, which is pretty cool. Um, a thing I would like to see them try to add on to the weather is the effect of the weather. And what I mean by that is that anyone who's ever played sports outside, they will already know that with snow and rain, it truly does play a factor. Now, you can see here at halftime and timeouts, I can switch my character. I have the arrows around Lulu. I could switch, I could be Joey, I could be whomever I want to be that I have unlocked. Which is a nice feature. I like that you're not locked in one person until the you're game ready. ends. Um, the thing they need to add is out of bounds and fouls. There's no fouls in this game. There's no over the back on rebounds. They could jump over you, they could do whatever they want to you. Um, there used to be reaching fouls because people just have the tendency to smash the, the steal button. Even though a steal button doesn't do much for you, it's a really awful animation. The only way you can really steal the ball in that situation is if they're standing still. If they're dribbling, you can't really steal it. Unless you run into them and the person falls. Excuse me. As that happened there, as you see my character got, oh, my teammate got ran into and she lost the ball. Don't play as the point guard. She's easy to steal from. She doesn't really do much to contribute to help the team. Plays as shooting guards, small forward, power forward, and if you're comfortable playing with Big Dog, plays Big Dog. 
But as you see, Big Dog's not expecting me to shoot the ball, so he's just playing down low. So you gotta mix it up a little bit, guys. Even if you know you're not gonna make the shot, which you won't, most of the time you will not make it because the shooting in this game is that bad. You gotta take it to mix it up a little bit. Just a little basketball tip for you there. A little IQ for you. you gotta mix it up a little bit. Can't be too one-sided in your offensive game. Um, sometimes I've made a shot or I've seen people make a shot and they haven't countered it and they give the other team the rebound. Here's a clutch shot right here. Slow-mo shot. I don't like slow motion in this game at all. They need to take it out of the game. I don't want a slow motion when I'm playing basketball. I want to play the basketball. I want it to be as smooth as possible. Slow motion, all it does for me is it just gives the opportunity to have a mistake here. Now you see here, I just cast the ball down by four. Minute five left. We got a true chance we could come back. Get the ball here. He's lagging. They need to fix that. Fix their connection to games. Get an easy layup. We're down by two. 58 seconds left. Huge moment in the game. I'm sagging because I know Big Dog can't shoot. Joey can't shoot either, guys. He gets lucky with his mid-range and with his threes every now and then. Sag on them. Get the rebound. Try to kick the ball somewhere. Kick the ball to Joey. 40 seconds left. Joey kicks it to our point guard. And she runs into nothing and loses the ball. They need to fix that animation. We lose the ball. I can test the shot. Doesn't matter. It goes in. 29 seconds left. Down by four. Very heat is. We should win this game. But our point guard blew it for us. You see me going to the hoop. Joey takes it himself. Gets blocked. Ball freezes in the air. Not because of the weather. Freezes just simply because bad animation. So we're down now. Wasting some more time. She eventually pulls up for a jumper. Contested as fuck. Somehow still falls in. Down by two. Ten seconds left. We need a miracle. We need something. We need them to take a quick shot. We need a steal. We need something. And what do they do? They feed down the big dog. I'm doing the best I can. Like I said, he's got the mismatch size-wise. Shot doesn't drop, and we lose. One more thing they need to do is, as you see, I'm the MVP here. I shouldn't be. I'm going to take it anyways. A little a dog, but your MVP should go to your winning team. Like it is in real sports. But yep, when I play with Lulu guys, I'm like a LeBron James, a Curry, and a James Harden all together. I'm a dog. You can't stop me. There's no way on the court you can stop me. I can dish it. I can block your shot. I can rebound your shot. I can put up shots. Shot collar. I got 10 points, 10, oh, 10 points, 3 rebounds, 2 blocks, and 1 assist. Pretty impressive game. It's Ninja. I'm signing out. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'm out.